depressed. There's a guy asleep on the bus. He is dreaming of many funny things. A lot of his dreams don't really make sense to him right now, but unfortunately, one day they all will. Three guys with instruments get on the bus. They're in a band. They just finished a gig. They were paid three dollars each. Another fellow's talking into a walkie-talkie. He thinks he's an undercover Mountie. He's wearing a purple snowsuit.
Hello. I'll have the bacon and eggs. Over easy. White toast. Make the bacon crispy. Regular coffee. Chicken chow mein. Chicken balls with red acrylic sauce. Chicken wings. How hot is hot? How hot mild? Chicken soup. Oh, wonton soup. Does that come with any kind of roll or anything? Egg. Okay. Fortune cookies? No, eh? That'll be all. There's no MSG in any of this, is there? Not really. Okay. That's for here. Let me see. Um, let me see. I'll have respect. Uh, dignity. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll have compromise. Large. Courage. Oh, okay. Security. I'll have curiosity with a side order of imagination. Oh, a complacency then. Originality. Does that come with gravy? I didn't think so. That's it. To go. Drop in then. Don't complain about the smell. 
I know certain things for certain. And I'm happy as I am. There's snow in the winter. And in the summer you can tan. Talking to me is like talking to a wall. It should be no concern of yours at all. Find other ears for your cat or wall. Don't you understand that I just don't change? I may decay a brown with age, but I'm not wise just because I'm stained. Good evening to the morons of Earth. This is Al. It's New Year's Eve. And this is my second annual New Year's Eve broadcast from Space Station Alpha, just outside the Earth's atmosphere. We'll have a little chit-chat and then get down to the business at hand. This is costing me a lot of money. I'm fine. Everyone here is well. As you're probably well aware from last year's address, I'm still plotting your demise. But now I'm also moonlighting. I have a one-man show in the Sector 9 pavilion. After a full eight months of doing fringe stuff and off-off Sector 9, it's a multimedia event, lightly satirizing the vacuity of space life. The audience don't appreciate it, but they're all Alpha Crew members and work for me, so they have little choice but to give me standing ovation after standing ovation. The critics panned it, but who beats their own microfilm anyway? But enough of how great and brilliant I am, and onto how stupid you are. I don't think I've forgotten my last year's New Year's resolution to lose five pounds and take over the world. I've already at this moment began mobilizing my considerable army of big-breasted fembots. In fact, the first division should be reaching Parliament Hill in a few short hours. This will be the initial step in eliminating all countries to make room for one state, my state. One flag, my flag, one anthem, which the Pet Shop Boys are working on now. I may be too optimistic, but I think by mid-August on the new calendar, phase two of my plan will be effective, and I will land at Stonehenge, just as primitive man had anticipated. From there, I will travel by motorcade to Turkey, where my colossal marble and gold dias, augmented by a small souvenir shop and information booth, is presently being erected. Naturally, you will wish to bring me the finest of gifts. So at this time, I would like to state my hat size. Seven and three eight. I don't look good in green. As far as bonbons go, dark chocolate only. Red grapes are fine without seeds. I have a beta machine. In terms of women, I like young, blonde, virgin. Although if they're under the age of 11, it doesn't matter what sex they are. Keep in mind that the celebration of Al will only be between the 8th and 14th of December this year, as on the 15th I will be traveling to the White House to meet Frank Sinatra, and then jetting me up to Crackville for a couple of nights. Many people think of taking over the world as a bad thing, and tend to overreact to words like world domination, genocide, and torture. But let me tell you that the only truly bad words in this life are compromise, tolerance, and Christian. I know your miserable earth brains can only absorb so much at a time. So later, when you require more information, which you will naturally confuse with knowledge, you can purchase my cassette and comic book package for nineteen ninety-five, outlining in sound and four bright colors your function in the new state. Before I close this New Year's address, I would like to plug the soon-to-be-opened Owl Museum on Clifton Hill in Niagara Falls, where you will see some of my personal belongings, my solid gray Cadillac, as well as a life-size replica of me and the miracle of butter. Wednesday night is ladies' night, admission half price. I would like to thank you all in advance for your cooperation and welcome you to your new world. Let's make this year our year. Sincerely, 